Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about logic pulsers. If you missed last week's video about the logic probes, go back and have a look at that and uh, come right back. But um, logic pulsers, they come in many shapes and sizes, uh, just like the logic probe, but they all share the same common feature. They are meant for signal injection. Um, most of them have a single shot and a multi-shot function. Um, and they are used for injecting signals into the board that you can pick up with your logic probe. So when you use the pulse, you can see that the logic probe picks it up. Now to demonstrate what this is good for, um, say we are interested in this chip and we're wondering if it's any good or not. Um, so we pull up the data sheets and we discover that we should be able to put a pulse here and have it pick up here if the chip is good. Now that's a very generalized idea there. Um, but you can see that uh, the pulse is going through the chip as, uh, as it's supposed to. Now another thing you can do with this is you can inject a signal and then see if you can find it later. Um, and it appears that it is traveling by some means from this chip to that chip. And that's extremely helpful for finding signals all the way through the board. Um, and you can use your imagination uh, to <laughs> take care of whatever problem is at hand. Um, and the other thing that is really helpful, um, if you watched our, our, uh, our logic probe video, we had a situation where our clock was dead and the clock came in on this pin right here. And, um, if we're wanting to make sure that something is working down the line or we need to disable it, we can use the multi-burst function to inject a slow clock signal into the, um, into the board and help us find out what's going on. So anyway, I hope that helped you uh, understand the logic pulser. It's an extremely useful tool. And uh, I hope you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.